Good morning, beautiful people of God. Um, so I wanted to share with you this morning um, God's love. Um, I'm going to try to explain it the best way I can. It is um, sometimes hard to understand and fathom <clears throat> how God and why God loves us so much. So here it is. Our love um, as humans. God has, uh, he's, he not only has love, he is love. It's who he is. Um, it's one of his characteristics and attributes. Um, love is an action. So how I show my love for people, um, or uh, some, some, let's say a significant other, it's my ability to, you know, give without desiring anything in return. Um, my ability to compromise maybe what I want for the greater good of the relationship or the greater good of the individual. Uh, my love for people is the ability to just, man, just love on them where they are, not, you know, require them to be anything different than who they are. That That is seemingly how I am to love um, like God. But all too often we love with restrictions with conditions with if you do this for me then i'll love you um if you compromise this for me then i'll love you um if you you know you think of i think of being in school and having a favorite teacher that you love so much because they teach you certain things and they help you to grow in certain areas of your life you just enjoy uh, maybe being in their class or you're with this person and you, you love them because, man, they are, you know, they're doing all these things for you. They're, you know, just providing all these things for you. But God love, man, his love is so good because God is self-sufficient, meaning he has no need from us. There is nothing he needs from us or that we can give to him uh, to gain his love. Um, also, we there is nothing we can teach God. So he doesn't love us because we can go, God, hey, let me teach you something about me. Let me teach you something about this. God is unable to learn. That That's the great thing about God. He can't learn. You can't teach him anything. He knows all things, which means he's unable to change because he already knows it all. So we can't go to him and go, God, let me teach you something new that you, you may have not known. This is how this works. Let me teach you. Nah. You can't do that. So his love is so good to us. It's hard to fathom. It's hard to understand that you would love us when we can give nothing to you. When we can teach you nothing. Well, we, we, we can't, you know, we can't do anything extra to earn your love. You just give it anyhow. Just because you're good. Just because you're love and that's who you are. Your ability to do anything other than love is impossible so God demonstrating his love because love is an action word coming and paying the ultimate price to secure our liberty our freedom our freedom to choose our freedom to live our freedom to you know to serve him he didn't die because he wanted us you know to force us to choose him but he died to give us a choice to always rely on him to trust on him to choose him that is love he did not come or he did not create us to be robots and say hey listen i want you to do as i say all the time i want to make you i want to i want to force you that's not love that's not love when you're forcing someone and you're making them and you're taking away their choice to choose but god in his infinite wisdom gave us options gave us a choice to choose him even though he's the only way, he is the only truth, he is the only God, he is only love, he still gave us a choice to choose him, demonstrating his ultimate love for us. So we don't love God because, you know, of anything other than he first loved us. Our ultimate love. Uh, showing of love is our surrenderance of our lives unto him. So taking what he's given to us and giving our lives back to him and allowing him to lead and guide us, choosing him daily, taking up our cross daily, 
Um, so I hope that helped in just describing how God's love, man, I literally, when I just thought about how good he is, how much he loves us, how uh, just willingness to just give us everything we need. Um, and it's nothing we can work for, but just loving us, like just really sit and meditate on how God loves us and that he's not requiring us to come to him, you know, complete and fixed, but he's allowing us to come as we are. He loves us right where we are. I think of the woman at the well. He, you know, he didn't act, he didn't go and tell her to come to the temple or or the people he healed come to me. He went to where they were. I love God so much because man, he didn't require me to come to where he is, seated in heavenly places um or next to the throne but he came right to where I was right to where I was in my lying and my deceitfulness you know in my in my hurt and my pain and and all the things that I had done wrong he didn't require me to come up to where he was but he came where I was and drew me near and brought me up to where he is so man if you just take a moment today and just think on the love of God and how Man, he is so amazing that he would love us where we are. And then ultimately change the course and the direction that we may have had for our life for the good. God's love is so good. It's unexplainable. It's un it's, it's 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 hard to even understand that you like I literally have to ask him to open my mind and help me to understand how you love like this. Like how Man, it's 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 just the kind of love that is just man, it's so good. It, it's 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 so amazing. It's so good. And to think of him being on the cross and being crucified, and looking out at the people who were you know chanting murder him, who were spitting on him, who were cursing him, and to say, "Have mercy on them, Father. They know not what they do." I don't know if I can love like that. Like, I don't, if you spitting on me and you, you, you know, you handling me some type of way, I don't, I don't know. I'm just, I'm, if I'm going to be honest, I don't know if I'm, you know, I'm, I'm going to tell God, you know, have mercy on them. No, God, get them fools. They tripping. They spitting on me and, 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 and cursing me out. I ain't done nothing to them. Um, I don't know if I, you know, if if I would have had that same response, but I thank God for his grace and mercy. I think that he's still doing the work in me, that he's still strengthening me and showing me how to love like him. So people of God, be blessed. Know that God loves you. He's with you, that he paid the ultimate price to have you, and he will come right where you are um, and begin the process of changing your life for the better. I love you, people of God. Have a great day. Bye.